Joining us tonight, political commentator, syndicated columnist, Ann Coulter. Her newest book is Adios America. Every time I say that, I feel so compellingly bilingual. The left's plan to turn our country into a third world hellhole, and it's currently number six on the New York Times bestseller list, which is the arbiter of such delightful things. Good to have you with us, Ann. Great to be here. Uh, let, let's start with the... Uh, the, the very idea that this judge is uh, ruling that conditions are deplorable in these two, and they may well be, but without guidance or direction as to what to do with people who are here illegally uh, and an administration that insists on not deporting anyone. Right. This is how, why we have to be careful about who gets in in the first place, because these federal judges start issuing them rights and will never get rid of them. Thus, a wall... <laughs> <laughs> be a little more careful about who gets in on the visas. And I also want to point out that this federal judge is a second generation immigrant. Right. That's great. That's fantastic. They that come in great. and start bossing us around. Could you wait a few generations? <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually am one of those who's thrilled uh, that anyone who comes into this country, and I presume they came legally, can rise to that level. That means the American dream is still working. What is, eh. what is stupefying to me is the idea that we don't have the right to decide who will be crossing that border, who will be No, the ruling is crazy. Country. I just think it's not altogether a coincidence that it is not yeah. someone steeped in our traditions. Um, no, of course that's right. And, and this wall business, I mean, this has been going on for 30 years. People wonder why Trump is exploding right now. Republican politicians have been lying, lying, lying. Even John right. McCain, who pushed am amnesty, remember, when he needed our votes yeah, in 2008, was... suddenly it's build the dang fence. But somehow the dang after, fence never gets built. <laughs> after his dang legislation, which he had co-sponsored with Ted Kennedy, uh, got turned down in, in the August Senate. Uh, <laughs> looking at these polls, I mean, Trump now leading in the most recent national poll. He is leading in New Hampshire. He is second in Iowa. And I don't hear Reince Priebus anywhere saying uh, Trump, the front runner. Oh, right. What's, what's, do you think they'll ever acknowledge him as front runner? <laughs> How many, what percent does he have to get to be considered a front runner? Right. He will be president before the RNC acknowledges him <laughs> as one of our own. No, and I want to know, I want th these other candidates. I want Rubio and Jeb Bush to be asked, are you going to run a third party candidacy if Trump right. gets the nomination? Why is he the only one asked that? He's winning. <laughs> I, I think maybe in part because he's the only one with enough resources, enough <laughs> money to actually fund whatever he would choose to do. I, I, but I do. I take your point. I think you're exactly right. Uh, the idea that uh, Trump's uh, new target is uh, Scott Walker. I, I mean, I, listen to what I mean. He goes one of Walker's fundraisers called Trump a dumb dumb, and now Trump is talking about Wisconsin being in a state of turmoil. The roads a disaster, the schools a disaster. They're borrowing money like crazy. Uh, who's dumb dumb now? I, I, you know, he makes it very clear, and I and I have no dog in this hunt, folks. I do not have a candidate. I just, I, I just want to promise you, I don't. I, as a matter of fact, I like I think all of these folks. But the idea that people would sit there and, and play schoolyard games and open themselves up to just be slapped uh, right. silly is crazy. I love how Trump is responding. And I, I mean, he has come under relentless attacks. We expect Republicans to come under these attacks, especially when they're strong and they can beat a Democrat, as Trump can. These are the kind of attacks Romney came under. We expect it from the left, from the media, you don't expect it from your own party. And they're all attacking Trump. Do you think there is validity to those who are so concerned in the Republican Party, which means they're supporting another candidate? That's the only basis for the concern. That he's taking up so much media oxygen that there is no other potential survivor uh, amongst this field of what is now 16. I think it's their own fault. Why don't they talk? I mean, it is the Chamber of Commerce. It is Wall Street. It is the wealthy donors who have a very particular and small group of concerns that 80 percent of Americans could not care less about or suffer the consequences of. Right. And but Republicans have completely ignored those voters, yeah. um, and particularly after the 2014 election. That was the main issue in that was defund Obama's executive amnesty. And what did they do? They give us a crappy trade bill that the Democrats all secretly wanted, mm -hmm. but they get to blame Republicans for it. I mean, they've just been an utter disaster because they are obsessed with getting the donors and the lobbyist money, and they won't listen to the people. And Trump, God bless him, he doesn't have to listen to the donors. Uh, any prospects here for this to be a real 
a, a real horse race. Is it going to be close or, or is he going to run away with it? What's the Ann Coulter view? Well, very quickly. I, well, I, I hope he doesn't back down on immigration. That's the only thing I care about. And as long as he stays strong on immigration, I think he could become the nominee. And I don't even care if he makes a, a mistake like the McCain thing. Who cares? <laughs> Ann Coulter in a forgiving mood, ladies and gentlemen. Great to have you here. Good to be here. And the book is Adios America.